Right, um, this is a uh, an update on my other YouTube channel I done of all the things that I moaned about and got done and uh, I'm just going to go through them all in this video and um, I just thought well see if anything did get done so while I'm here I just thought uh, I'd take a nice little photograph of this or video whatever you want to call it and uh, see what you think so we'll see um, we'll see what's changed in the last six months or so and see what got changed and what hasn't and uh, hope you enjoy it all right so we'll get on with it nice graffiti by the way here we go yeah the wall is um, definitely needs doing it's falling down it's health and safety issue somebody could trip on it as you can see just thought I'd highlight it and uh, yeah it needs sorting out somebody is gonna hurt themselves all right taking a tree down but you should have sorted the area and blocked it off with no entry so there you go sorry parking a car on there but like you say one of the cars have flipped the I mean, slab as wound as well so yeah not a lot of thought went into that I mean look at this here I mean Hey, it don't take much for that to fall down either. So yeah, it should be cornered off properly. Somebody, kids with their kids, might be playing on this. But the bench needs updating, definitely. You know, little kid put a few fingers in there. Look at this. Not even done properly. Anyway, another one to add to my new video, most probably. But definitely needs looking at. Take the tree down by all means. But why don't you sort the rest out? There we go. Hope that gets sorted very, very soon. Tell me what you think. Ooh, definitely needs sorting. Right, another update on Market Street. Well, as I mentioned about the bench, it was falling apart. Well, again, update on this one, and it's gone. It's all been cleared away. And how much tidy does it look? Amazing. <laughs> So yeah, amazing, things do get done. And then, I see this, they've cut down the tree. There was one beautiful tree here. And they've cut it down and decided to put a mural on the wall. I mean, okay, graffiti. A small town, it's gonna start looking like Manchester and Birmingham and London with their old, before other people start doing it. I mean, yeah. The tree stump there you go and the excuse i heard was you have a look here is that the wall is breaking because of the roots well to be honest with you the tree was pretty steady there's no way that tree was moving so i thought to myself yeah i just want an excuse they just want to park their cars on here and you can see what's happened they've been parking their cars on here and all the slabs have all come loose so really, this is a health and safety issue that needs to be sorted because if somebody trips along here now, because now the tree's gone and now it's been highlighted as a problem, because now people have seen the statue on the wall, well, statue, I mean the graffiti on the wall, they're gonna walk up here. And as you can see, this one is sticking up really high. I mean, you trip on that or the kids could have come and bang, oh yeah. Oh, that's not our problem. Well, you made the problem by cutting the tree down and parking your cars there. So in my opinion, it needs to be sorted. You know, it's a fire assembly point. I mean, <laughs> come on, Charlies. Should have thought about that before you cut the tree down. Now you've made a bigger problem. Some poor kid's going to get hurt. I can see that happening. And also, I think the bench here needs updating. Back end's falling off, looking a bit grubby. Oh, looking a bit grubby about time you made it look a nice little area yeah Muriel looks nice but to be honest with you somebody's going to get hurt let's just hopefully somebody gets it sorted ASAP or permanently park something there so somebody doesn't get hurt anyway just thought that's another new one to add to my list 
hope uh, hope that gets sorted by the time I come back next time on to the next one old video market streets I complained about also here there used to be a bench which was falling apart and uh, believe it or not actually got rid of it and now it looks real tidy again they could have put a bench back something to sit on you know so they could do could do that but like I say why take it completely away and not replace it and also change the one over there because that's falling apart as well so you've got two to do so yeah so that's Marcus Street my video seemed to have got rid of that in the end so we uh, finally got it done anyway on to the next one my gas street um, car park I was here last time I was moaning about two hours stay but I did notice this on my latest walk around is that yeah you just put these big rocks here last time and yeah they've decorated it all nice with flower plants now and it actually looks really tidy so yeah quite surprised um, yeah it stands out really good still two hour parking though can't understand why and it's only a pound to park and two pound for two hours so nothing's changed there about long stay but yeah I must admit tidy it up looks really pretty almost pretty should I say but yeah they've done it all the way around and it does look amazing so yeah so there you go you have tidied it up a bit I don't know if there's anything changed over there no there's nothing changed just thought I'd do an update on the Gas Street car park seems to be kept tidy looks like it's been well maintained so yeah brilliant job done nice there you go on to the next update 7th Street I did a video about this yeah I like the seating um, on this update is that no it's still not done anything nice with the flowers as you can see still left pretty uh, horrifyingly uh, weedy nothing was done so there you go they could do up by our Iceland and all that sort of places but they still don't want to tidy down here I don't know why when they did it all the last time it looked amazing but uh, no because people most probably don't come down here as often they thought why even bother so there you go so just thought I'd do an update on that so they haven't really bothered here so maybe next summer they might do something so yeah that's another update not a good one but there you go see what happens in another six months or so on to the next one right since my last update video now I'm outside Santander Lloyds Bank and you remember when I was doing this that uh, I complained about a bench put in front of the uh, cash machine where all people were uh, using the machine and be able to sit down and watch what people are doing putting their bags down well here we go here we are outside the Lloyd's machine and uh, believe it or not if you look around no longer there so yeah somebody listened and got it moved and believe it or not they moved them up here well I don't know where they moved the one but they moved two of them so I don't know where the other one was before but we now got one under Iceland so you can sit out the wet and also the one they moved I think is this one I'm bunged it on the end of here and as you can see it is all still looking amazing so it has been kept tidy I'll just show you the bit outside Iceland they've got a bench out here and yeah looks like they're maintaining it so the plants are looking quite nice except right at the front I mean but again time of year things are starting to die off so benefit that there but the plants on the actual things are being looked after so yeah so looking good that's it on to the next part of me updates
Right, well, a bit of an update since I last did my other video. Um, they've actually screwed the bolts on, look, and actually fixed it so it doesn't tip over. Wow. So power of YouTube, eh? Hey? Making it known. So that's another thing that's been altered since I've done my channel. So, uh, yeah, things are getting done. So now, I'll go on to see what other things have been happening. So there you go, bus station ticked off, all fixed. Catch you on the next piece. Right, since my last update, well, this is an update. Right, start again. Update. Yeah, all they've done, big slab on the floor still. And as you can see, put a bit of mesh around the bottom. It's plastic, so it's durable. So you could sit on it, but again, prickles, thorns, yeah, not a good idea. And have they done anything with the tree? No, as you can see, you got the apple still hanging off there. I don't know how many months since I've done the video, but yeah, starting to look a bit agey already. So, but like you say, they still haven't done a lot. They should have cleaned it off a bit better. Put a bit of seat underneath it or something. Make it more serviceable. Anyway, that's a bit of an update. Nothing much changed. Anyway, we'll go on to the next one. Got another update further down the road here. I'll do that one in a second. Back in a bit. Go on. Yeah, another update. Uh, down by the post office, where the garden is. Robert Owen statue. Yeah, seems to look a lot more, uh, a lot more cleaner than it did the last time I was here. Seems that they've uh, tidied that up. See, the statue looks a lot cleaner. Doesn't like bows of bird crap over it like it was. So yeah, looks um, looks like they've done a bit of a nice job. So yeah, the power. Hey, the power of just doing a little video makes people tidy things up. Remember them boxes full of bloody dead weeds and statue looks real clean, tidy now. So yeah, that's another update. Yeah, another one to me. All sorted. Oh, now look at that, hey? Eh? Fresh new plants inside, hey? Didn't notice that. Oh, there you go. So I'll cut the other one. As you can see, oh, I just got to look at the statue. Just see how look clean it looks. Yeah, seems they've done a little bit to clean that up. Well, there you go. Yeah, they did spend some money on it and sort it out. Same here. Don't know. Yeah, it looks like fresh, fresh peat in there. So yeah, so yeah, it did make a difference. Same there, put a tree in there. Doesn't look as bad. So yeah, another one sorted. Well done. Catch you on the next update. Right, I just thought I'm back in the area. I just saw it do a few updates around the area. So this is an update week of what's happened since I first done my videos around Newtown. Things that have been changed. So I thought I'd stop off here at Falcon Court and quickly do a video here of the new houses. And you can see a little bit of updates, a bit more tidier now. Uh, Notice this week they put the shrubbery in, so it looks like it's not going to be grass, as you can see. So, less maintenance. And you can see the size of inside them build. And you can see the stairs there through the window. Um, yeah, so yeah, it's coming on. So, uh, all the big boards are gone down. So, yeah, that's why I just thought I'd show that bit off. And also, it must be because I've done the video. A while back with the uh, school because I said say it's all like looking untidy and I noticed the, the uh, bike sheds they were steam cleaning them with a pressure washer I don't know if I got the light in the way I can't see it under my eyes but as you can see look how nice and clean they look and they haven't been done for years so yeah, sometimes doing a little video YouTube 
can make a difference. Somebody does see things. Look at that, pristine. I mean, I'm not joking. I've been driving around for six years around this place and I've never seen it that clean. So there you go. Sometimes it can make a difference. Anyway, thought I'd show that bit off. We have more updates on here. They've honestly paved that bit now. It was all it was all mud. And also, there's another thing that I think is not very good, is that they don't seem to learn when they build these housing estates. They like to put trees. Now, if we look at this, they've gone and planted trees. I mean, don't they ever learn? I mean, right on this day, and what's going to happen? The roots will grow, and then, as always, cracks are gone great, and then, of course, subsidence. And also other problems, pipes, drainage, you know, but they don't ever seem to learn. And this is not a new housing development. They think they get everything else right, but yeah, again, no small details again, just to make it look tidy. Anyway, so I'll be able to show you. Um, this is what more or less Falcon Court garages were like before. And as you can see, Grotty, horrible, untidy, drag the side down. Now, I think this is Robin Square, which is the very same layout. As you can see, this is exactly what they were like in uh, Falcon Court. But as I'll show you in a minute, I can't see it because the sun's been blowing eyes again. And I'll show you, let's get out of the sun. Oh, that's better. So you can see, look untidy. So, yeah, so I want to show you the picture in a minute. With them taken down, the place looks amazing. So yeah, bit of DIY and uh, can make a lot of a difference. So there you go. There you go. So just another look. Would you want to look at that all day, or would you want to look at the new place with no garages all day? Anyway, I'll show you the next bit. Something else has altered over the last few months is uh, Falcon Court. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. They've knocked all the garages around that were around here. And now, how much better lighting there is. It, uh, it looks a hell of a lot better. You can see all the lights. It looks brilliant. And uh, more open, bright. Better than it's ever been. So just knocking a few garages down has made a hell of a difference. So yeah, Falcon Court looks a lot newer, a lot tidier, and what a difference. Look how much area it is. So there you go. How much brighter and cleaner it looks. Instead of them old dingy blooming garages.